Hi everyone! Our last episode from French Polynesia is about Moria. We really love this island. It had a good mix of everything that we were looking for. Adventures, nature, beautiful local people, chilled vibes. So we will show all the activities we have done while traveling around the island, from diving to hiking, all kind of stuff. First of all, how to get to Moria. It's actually pretty simple. From Papeti you have options, you can fly or you can take very short boat ride. You don't need to book in advance, it's cheap. Actually it was beautiful. Let's talk about accommodation. The island is full of beautiful results. They are amazing, but we like to discover the island differently. We slept on a boat or stayed at a beautiful Airbnb in Cooks Bay, which was a lot more affordable and let us engage with the local people. The first beach was just stunning. The locals recommended to go for a kayak ride because we are going to find some interesting creatures in the water. Next, we stopped at a public beach called Ta Ahiamanu. It's a great beach, beautiful snorkeling, great views, very chilled vibe. Many locals were here with their families, barbecuing, having some drinks. It was a lot of fun. So we stayed here for the sunset. The next morning we went to hike Montruti. It's not an easy hike. It's exposed to the sun, so it requires a lot of water. After a rainy day it became very slippery, and as we didn't have the proper hiking shoes, we had to stop at the beautiful viewpoint. To relax, we went to the Teki village. You could try some local instruments, <laughs> see some local clothing, and actually they had pretty decent food. It was fun, go for it! After we went to a spot very close to Sofitel to snorkel that has been recommended some locals that we met in Maupiti. It's a drift snorkel, so you need to go above the hotel and let yourself float down. It's awesome! As you can see, we love snorkeling, we love marine life. But who doesn't? And we knew that in French Polynesia we need to go deeper underwater. So we decided already we are going to do our paddy license here. We went up for a three days course and this was the best choice. It's amazing and actually it changed how we travel after we had our certification. I feel at this part of the world, it's a must to go underwater. It was interesting that we were just learning and we bumped into so many interesting creatures, turtles, even sharks that were a lot bigger than when we were snorkeling, eels, rays, just a new experience. We 
Billy records and dies with scuba pity. It's a local school with very friendly people that I highly recommend. Alright, it's enough of the underwater stuff. Let's discover more of the inland activities, starting with the hike of the three coconuts. It was a much simpler hike that we have been doing last time, shorter. On the other hand, I managed to get lost because I was following some marathon route, so it took us much longer than it should have been. But it's a beautiful one, easy one. So if that's what you're looking for, it's a perfect hike. You remember what I thought about the benefits of living in an Airbnb. So in the afternoon, our host invited us to a pineapple and banana plantation to walk her dogs. Of course, I got a seat in the back with the dogs. The plantation was lovely and beautiful, and as our host used to work on this plantation previously, she could tell us a lot of insights on how they harvest these plants, how they take care of them. It was very cool. And when life seems to be too beautiful, something happens. The dogs rolled in some animal's shit, so sitting with them in the back was not very cool. After this, usually we cooked what I needed at a local restaurant. I personally always wanted to sleep on a boat. So this was a great occasion. First of all, our host picked up at the port with all the luggages with a dinghy and they told us their inspiring story. They had office jobs in Paris decided to buy a boat without any experience, make it as an Airbnb and live in French Polynesia. Cheers to that! Wow, sleeping in the boat is a lot of fun. I will do it again for sure. We woke up to the beautiful sunrise to spend our last day in Moria. The last day we didn't do much, went to a local beach, packed in and headed to the port to take the same boat ride back to Papete. We were set to leave this unique paradise. At the same time we were happy to have the opportunity to visit this special place experience the nature, meet all the people on our trip. So here I would like to thank anyone who is watching to be part of it. We will be back for sure. So please leave in the comments what places we should visit next. Thanks for watching, see you soon.